Hello, welcome to another creature tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover creatures PSD import pipeline, or rather the Photoshop image import pipeline of creature. This pipeline is going to allow you to import in a PSD image file with different layers composed of different various body parts of the character. And creature will basically automatically name those texture regions and also place them automatically, lay, laying them out in the, in the, in the rig mode. So it's very convenient as long as you follow the following steps, which I'm going to go through. So to get started, this is a zombie character we have over here. And this character is provided by OTK Games. It's super cool. You should check out their game on Steam Greenlight. OK, so you notice the they have actually placed out the different body parts in different layers, various layers in this PSD file, right? So OK, that's great. And we're going to switch over to Terminal. now. What are we going to do here? So first things first, we actually have to take note of two scripts. There's psd.py and layer export.py. Okay? So those two scripts we care about. And you can grab those two scripts, grab those two scripts from the documentation page describing this PSD import process. The other important thing to note is you have to install the PSD Tools Python library and the PIL or Pillow image library for Python. Those two libraries have to be installed before we can continue. Otherwise, these two scripts won't run. Okay? So with that, let's start by exporting the layers into PNG files. So what we do, you run Python, go layer export.py. You type that, it gives you, it prompts you for the inputs. So the first thing is the PSD file. So it's test.psd. The second one is the output folder. Let's call it uh, test image images, for example. All right, press that. And now if you do a listing in test images, you see all the PNG files that we have exported. Great. So that's great. That's all the body parts of the, the character exported out into individual PNG files. The next thing you want to run is texture packer. So let's load up texture packer. Okay, so this is texture packer. And if you notice, I have already added, I've already added in all the PNG files from that folder, right? It's over here, you see the arm, the fingers, the body, and, and whatnot. Now, once it's in Texture Packer, there's a couple of things I want to note that you should pay attention to. First of all, the data format of the export should always be JSON array. That is the file format that Creature reads in, all right? The second thing is data file. That is the file that you have to specify, which, will, which is the JSON file that's gonna be exported out for Creature to read in. So those two things have to be specified. The other thing you should care about is the border and shape padding. You should give enough padding, in, in this case I'm having 20 and 20, which is actually a good fit, enough padding so that creature's meshing algorithm, when you import it into the, to the, to the texture or the, the, the meshing mode, there's enough padding for creature to identify the, the, the different regions and mesh them appropriately. All right, so make sure you give enough padding in your texture, texture packed PNG file. All right. So with that, you click on Publish Sprite Sheet to generate the data. OK, and now I will see you in Preacher. OK, welcome back. And now, before we actually go back to Creature, and notice I've loaded it in the background, but before we go back to Creature, there's one other thing we need to run. We ran the layer export.py file, right? And that gave us the test image folder with a bunch of images of each layer, right? So that's the first thing we need to run. The second script we need to run is psd.py, okay? So this is the script that's actually gonna help us do the auto layout and correspondence in the rig mode, right? So the first script exported the images. The second script does the rig registration and auto layout. So let's run it right now. So how do we do that? We go Python, psd.py, and the inputs are really similar. So again, first input test.psd, Okay, and then the second, we can call it layout. Let's call it layout.json. Okay, so we do that, and it says writing region, etc. It's found all the regions. Great, and now we have layout.json written. Great. Okay, so let now let's go into Creature. All right, so welcome back to Creature. Let's open our project. Here is the zombie project with the texture packed file that we had in Texture Packer, all right? You noticed 
you know, when you import that in, unfortunately, all the different texture meshes are not named correctly, but that will be fixed very, very quickly. So how do we do this? Click on Tools. Now click Create Texture Regions from Layout JSON. And now we made that file called layerjson.json in Texture Packer. That was what we made in Texture Packer. So select that file and click Open. Okay. And now magically, all your different texture region meshes are now named correctly. Look at that, B leg, body, body D, cloth B, cloth F, right? Okay, so great. So that saves you a lot of time. Now let's go into rigging mode and put this together automatically as well. So click on rig, and now click on tools again. Now click set up rig regions from layout JSON. So same thing, but this time around, we made the layout JSON, remember? With the layout script, select that one, click open. And now it says it found these regions that it can assemble for us. So now click OK. And we are done. Look, the entire zombie character assembled for us without much effort. So that concludes this tutorial. Hopefully you found it very useful. Thanks for watching.